Immigrants say Latin restaurants provide a space for them to connect. Aubrey B. Jennings visited one of these restaurants to see how it helps the community come together. Aubrey, which immigrant population is the largest in Utah? Latinos are Utah's largest minority group, with nearly half a million living here in the state. And while immigrants face a lot of challenges, many are creating spaces for inclusion, like this restaurant here in Provo. <laughs> this is Carola. She moved to Utah in 2017 from Bolivia. Utah is beautiful. Utah is really nice. And like many immigrants and refugees do in the States, she got to work, buying and running a restaurant with her husband. And while they are Bolivian, you might be surprised to hear they run a Mexican Salvadorian restaurant, catering to Utah's largest population of Latinos. Muchas culturas acá en Utah. There are lots of cultures here in Utah, but mainly there are friends from Mexico, but also there are those from El Salvador, from Venezuela, from Colombia, from Argentina. People from Chile also come. Making her restaurant, as many restaurants are, a place of connection and community. I like working here because I meet people from around the world, and every day there are new stories, new clients, and you make friends. And for many, starting fresh in a new country is a challenging experience. For Carola, whose daughter is still in Bolivia, it's been really hard on us. It's been a really difficult time in my life. With everything immigrants and refugees sacrificed, one BYU professor has taken a unique approach to supporting them. I can do good in the world and enjoy this wonderful food by choosing to visit restaurants like this. For this professor, visiting immigrants' restaurants is a way to connect with them and support the vital roles they play in our economy. The reason why they're here is because they're needed, and our economy wouldn't function as well without them. While immigrants support the economy in various ways, their restaurants are also a way of sharing their culture with others. Restaurants are more than just a place to fill your stomach. They are a space for community and for culture. And for Professor Hawkins, that's worth supporting. Reporting for Universe Live in Provo, I'm Aubrey B. Jennings. Cheers. Thanks, Aubrey.